Hello, this is Pink Point, and it's time to unbox and set up this very famous Mac Mini M1. I am so happy because finally dumating na rin siya after 23 days of waiting. Yes, medyo matagal kasi na purchase ko to online. Wala kasi ng available sa mga physical box stores dito sa atin. And this is my first Mac Mini, and I am so excited to check this out and experience kung gaano kabilis and kung gaano ka smooth gamitin ang processor na to. So ito na, the new Mac Mini with Apple's new M1 chip with an 8 core 3 times faster CPU, with an 8 core GPU for 6 times faster graphics, and with a 16 core neural engine. And as you can see at the back, I've got the base model with 8 gigs of RAM in 512 gigs of SSD storage. This model starts at 49,990 pesos. And of course, you can customize your Mac Mini M1. You can have 16 gigs of RAM for an additional of 12,000 pesos. And you can also upgrade your SSD to 1 terabyte or 2 terabyte depending on your needs. You also have the option to have a pre-installed Final Cut Pro or Logic Pro. Maraming options to choose from depending on your budget and on your needs. For my Mac Mini M1, I only have 8 gigs of RAM. 512 SSD storage and a pre-installed Final Cut Pro. And aside from this, you can also choose some accessories like a Thunderbolt cable, a keyboard, a mouse, or a trackpad. You can have a magic mouse or you can have a trackpad depending kung ano yung mas gusto mong gamitin, kung ano yung mas prefer mo. Now, let's go ahead and open this up. Balik na rin lang natin. Ayan, tita na rin siya. Mabuksan. Mm -hmm. Slowly, slowly. Dahan-dahan lang kasi medyo fit na fit. And ito na siya. Mac Mini in Silver. Tanggalin natin itong plastic. Ito na siya. Mac Mini M1 in Silver. And medyo magana siya. Kasi nasa 1.2 kilograms lang yung bigat niya. And for the inclusions, we have here a documentation with its technical specifications and a big silver Apple sticker. Ito yung usual na dinidikit sa likod ng car and a power cord. So itong tatlo lang ang kasama niya. Okay, so itabi na natin siya. So yun lang ang kasama niya guys. No monitor, no keyboard, and walang mouse. So you have to purchase them separately. For the Mac Mini M1, we have here a reflective Apple logo dito sa taas. And sa likod naman, we have here a base. A slightly raised base. And a branding. This one. Then, sa harap naman, we have here the status indicator. And sa likod, we will take this tape off. And, ta -da! We have here a power button, a power slot, an Ethernet port, two Thunderbolts USB-C connections, which supports up to 6K resolution at 6 Hz. We also have 
HDMI 2.0 port which supports up to 4K resolution at 6Hz, two USB-A type ports, a ventilation for the fan inside, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. And this Mac Mini M1 has a built-in speaker. So, so much with that. Let's set this up. Let's plug this Mac Mini to power, connect it to a 4K monitor, and turn its power on. So, for the setup process, the computer is asking me to connect the mouse or the trackpad. So, I on ko yung ating switch slider to connect the trackpad. And I think it is now connected. To pair a Bluetooth keyboard, turn it on and wait for your computer to connect. So, i on din natin yung switch slider ng ating keyboard. Okay, naka on na siya. So, wait lang natin na mag-connect. And I think it is now connected. So next, for the language, of course, English. Then next. And ayan na siya guys after the setup process. Now we can set our preferred settings. Usually, I always uncheck autocorrect spelling. To do that, just go to System Preferences, Top Keyboard, and go to Text. Then uncheck Correct Spelling Automatically. And also, if you are going to have your ops organized in a single folder, you can go to Finder, select Preferences, and check Hard Disks. Close this one. Open the hard disk drive. Drag the Applications folder to the dock. Right-click on it and view content as a list. Right-click on it again and display as folder. As you can see, andito na lahat yung mga available nating apps. Para lang siyang main menu ng Windows computer. And you can customize kung ano pang settings ang gusto mo. And one thing, Mac Mini M1 has 30 built-in apps. And since nagpa-install ako ng Final Cut Pro, nagiging 31 yung apps niya. And we'll try to open this one. Oh, it runs nice and fast. We'll try to open this one also. Music. Oh, ambidis. How about our calendar? Talagang ambidis niya, guys. And we'll try to open our Final Cut Pro. Hanapin natin siya. Ito lang siya. And ngayon ko lang to ma-open. Ma-open for the first time. And it opens nice and quick. So, ayan na po siya. So, just select continue. And, ayan na siya. Actually, first time kong nakagamit ng Final Cut Pro ngayon. So, we're going to close this one. Try lang natin kung gaano kabinis mag-open ng apps ang Mac Mini M1. So, we're going to close this one. Calendar, music, and our browser. And also, don't forget to check for available software updates. So far, ang ganda po niya, ang bilis at ang dali lang ng setup. So that's it guys, and see you on my next video for my Mac Mini Complete Setup. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell icon so you'll be notified in my next video.